With an ideal climate, fertile soil, and the dedicated care of farmers, the western and northwestern states of the United States have become the cradle of sweet world-renowned cherries. American cherries are celebrated not only for their plump, vibrant red appearance, but also for their sweet tart flavor that delivers a truly captivating culinary experience. Just one bite, and you'll taste their distinctive, refreshing, and unforgettable flavor. As of 2024, the area dedicated to cherry cultivation in the United States is estimated at around 37,000 hectares, with an annual yield ranging from 300,000 to 400,000 tons. The United States is one of the world's leading cherry producers, trailing only Turkey and Chile. Vast cherry orchards in states like Washington, Michigan, Oregon, and California, where mild climates, sufficiently cold winters, and warm summers create perfect conditions, allow cherry trees to thrive, bloom, and bear fruit of exceptional quality. With this impressive output, the United States plays a significant role in global cherry production, exporting to demanding markets such as Japan, China, and Europe, thanks to favorable natural conditions and the application of advanced agricultural technology. Have you ever imagined standing in the middle of a sprawling cherry orchard where branches laden with bright red fruit glow under the golden sunlight. Join us on this magical journey through this video, where you'll immerse yourself in the enchanting beauty of cherry orchards and feel the vibrant pulse of nature. From delicate blossoms blooming in early spring to ripe, juicy cherries in the summer, this isn't just a farm tour. It's an exploration of nature's resilient vitality. To produce high-quality cherries, preparing the soil and ensuring optimal climate conditions are critical. The soil for cherry trees must be loose, well-draining and free from waterlogging to support healthy root development. The ideal soil pH ranges from 6.0 to 7.0, and if the soil is too acidic, farmers add lime to balance it. Before planting, they enrich the soil with organic compost or well-rotted manure, providing a rich nutrient base for the cherry trees to take root and grow vigorously. Climate is another essential factor. Cherry trees require a cold winter with 700 to 1200 hours below 45 degrees Fahrenheit to stimulate flowering and fruiting in the spring. The ideal planting times are fall or early spring, when mild weather and moist soil help trees establish roots quickly. When planting, the sapling is carefully placed in the hole, covered with soil, and gently compacted to secure it. Immediately after planting, the tree is thoroughly watered to provide a moist environment, helping it adapt quickly. The spacing between trees is carefully calculated, ranging from 13 to 20 feet depending on the variety, ensuring optimal space for canopy and root development, resulting in healthy cherry trees ready for a bountiful harvest. In the early days after planting, regular watering is key to helping cherry trees establish roots and grow strong. However, water levels must be carefully controlled to avoid waterlogging which can harm roots. As the trees mature, watering is reduced, with additional irrigation provided only during dry spells or intense heat. 
fertilizing at the right time also helps cherry trees grow robustly and produce abundant fruit. In the early stages, nitrogen-rich fertilizers are prioritized to promote the growth of leaves, stems, and branches, creating a sturdy framework for the tree. When the tree begins to flower and bear fruit, farmers switch to balanced fertilizers, supplying potassium and phosphorus to nurture juicy fruit clusters. Pruning cherry trees is a vital step to ensure balanced, healthy growth and high yields. Cherry branches grow rapidly, extending about 12 inches each year. Without pruning, trees can become unruly, with branches wilting or dying due to lack of sunlight. Quality fruit cannot develop under such conditions. The ideal time for pruning is late winter or early spring, when the tree is dormant but preparing to bud. Honestly, only years of experience allow farmers to know which branches to cut at a glance. They visualize the ideal tree in their mind and prune accordingly, ensuring good airflow and sunlight exposure. In early spring, as the air warms, cherry branches shed their barren winter look and burst into clusters of delicate white or pale pink blossoms. From March to April, cherry trees bloom vibrantly, creating a poetic, living tapestry of nature. These flowers are not only beautiful, but also carry the promise of a bountiful harvest, as bees and wind aid in pollination. Bud thinning is the process of adjusting the number of flower buds on a branch. Each cherry branch typically has five to six buds, with each bud producing five flowers, resulting in about 30 cherries per branch if unthinned. However, this can strain the tree's nutrients and stress the buds. To prevent this, buds are thinned to two or three per branch, a task done early in the year to ensure larger, tastier cherries. After pollination and petal drop, tiny green cherries begin to form. Over 45 to 90 days they develop, transitioning from green to yellow, pink, and finally, a brilliant red, signaling readiness for harvest. Have you ever dreamed of picking ripe cherries straight from the tree? The sensation of touching their glossy skin inhaling their sweet aroma and tasting their refreshing sweetness is an unforgettable experience. Join the farmers in the harvest season, where every cherry is a gift from nature. Manual cherry harvesting is a traditional method used by many small farms to ensure the highest quality for each fruit. Harvesting cherries requires skill and care to maintain their pristine quality. Workers gently pick each cherry by hand, keeping the stem intact to extend shelf life and preserve natural freshness. During harvesting, care is taken to avoid dropping or bruising the fruit, as any scratches or damage can reduce commercial value. Though time-consuming and labor-intensive, this method yields cherries with a flawless appearance and high freshness, often preferred for premium markets or export. However, as cultivation scales up, mechanized harvesting has become the optimal choice to boost productivity and save labor costs. Modern machines are designed to gently shake the tree or branches causing ripe cherries to fall onto troughs or tarps below without damaging branches or leaves, while high-speed conveyors ensure quick and safe fruit transfer. Despite its efficiency, this method has drawbacks, 
such as the risk of bruising fruit or harvesting unripe cherries if not precisely calibrated. As a result, many farms combine both methods, manual harvesting for selective areas and mechanized harvesting for larger plots to balance quality and yield. After harvest, cherries are quickly transported to processing facilities. First, they are washed to remove dirt, debris, and bacteria from the surface. Automated washing systems use clean water and mild detergents to protect the fruit's delicate skin, ensuring no damage occurs. After washing, cherries are dried to prevent moisture-related spoilage during transport and storage. Next, they are inspected and sorted using advanced machinery. Sorting systems employ sensor technology and automation to classify cherries based on color, gloss, size, and external condition. This sorting process is crucial as it ensures the quality and freshness of the cherries guaranteeing that only the best reach consumers or export markets. Cherries that meet standards are moved to packaging or boxing. This process takes place in a clean, temperature-controlled environment to protect the fruit from external factors that could cause spoilage or affect quality. Cherries are carefully arranged in specialized boxes or packaging, designed to prevent bruising or crushing during transport. These packages are engineered to keep cherries fresh for longer and provide maximum protection during storage and distribution. Thanks to modern technology and automated packaging processes, each box or crate of cherries meets the highest quality standards ready for export or domestic markets. Cherries that don't meet fresh consumption or export standards are processed into juice. The process begins with washing to remove dirt and impurities. Then, cherries are fed into grinders or presses to extract juice, which is carefully filtered to remove seeds and pulp, ensuring a high-quality, naturally delicious product. The cherry juice is then heated to eliminate bacteria and extend shelf life. Some processes may use advanced sterilization techniques to ensure food safety. Finally, the juice is bottled or canned under strict sanitary conditions, ready for distribution to meet consumer demand. This processing not only maximizes the use of raw materials, but also expands the consumption of cherry-based products, adding value to the crop. Cherries are not only famous for their sweet, refreshing flavor, but also packed with essential nutrients like vitamin C, A, potassium, and manganese. The antioxidants in cherries help protect cells, reduce the risk of chronic diseases, and improve overall health. Beyond their nutritional value, cherries are a versatile ingredient in culinary arts, used in desserts, main dishes, salads, and beverages like juices, cocktails, and syrups. Their sweet tart flavor enriches dishes, delivering unique and delightful culinary experiences.
If you find the journey of growing and harvesting cherries as fascinating as we do, let us know in the comments what surprised you the most. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more captivating stories behind the foods we love.